is, all right, so we know that a triangle is opposite over hypotenuse. Right? Yes? Now, you guys are so familiar with always drawing triangles like this. And that's fine. I mean, if you have here's theta, right, and this is your opposite side, 2 over 3. Is everybody's cool with that, right? But in reality, ladies and gentlemen, we need to understand that when we're given a constraint, there's a different way to draw this triangle. And let's actually include now an x and a y axis. Ladies and gentlemen, can I also create a triangle that has a hypotenuse that's a right triangle that's still exact, the sign is exactly the same? Do you guys agree with me? Those triangle, those, the sign is exactly the same. Yes? Now, what's the difference? What is this third side here? Well, that's going to be 9 square root of 5, right? If I did Pythagorean theorem, does everybody do Pythagorean theorem in your head? 9 squared minus 2 squared, right? Subtract it, so it's square root of 5. So the difference, though, is square root of 5, negative square root of 5. Do you guys see how, which, how now it makes a huge difference? It doesn't make a difference for sine. It makes a difference for cosine and tangent, right? Because look at guys. If it's in whatever quadrant it's in, if it's, in the, if it's the triangle on the right, cosine is positive. If it's the triangle on the left, cosine is negative. If it's the triangle on the right, tangent is positive. If it's a triangle on the left, tangent is negative. So how do we know which triangle it is? Well, they gave us this constraint. Cotangent is greater than 0. That means cotangent is positive. Now, I gave you guys only the three trigonometric functions. The reciprocals are the exact same thing. Which, fun which quadrants is the cotangent going to be positive? It's the same thing as tangent. Yeah. The third and the first. Well. Do we have a triangle in the third and the first? Yeah, in the first. So guess what? That is not our triangle given our equation and our constraint. If you're not given a constraint, then you would just do like we did here and just draw a random triangle and do it. Okay? There is no positive or negatives. If you're just given an equation, just do it as is. However, if you're given a constraint, positive and negatives mean the whole difference. So our sign of theta is 2 thirds. If sine of theta is 2 thirds, then we know that cosecant of theta is 3 halves. Right? Reciprocals? That was easy. Cosine of theta is the square root of 5 over 3. So secant of theta, I'm going to do this quickly, is going to be <clears throat> uh, 3 square root of 5 over 5. Tangent of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 2 over um, square root of 5 over 5. And cotangent of theta is going to be uh, opposite adjacent or opposite, which is square root of 5 over 2. And that's it. OK? Anybody have any questions on that? <coughs>